survive a given time, and I'm guessing the other is beat him, defeat him. Let's try it out. Here goes. Goku declines Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan, back of Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards the aircraft for Bulma, Goku and the others go ahead. They had intended to launch a surprise attack, but they are detected by Raditz the scouter. They abandon their plan and decide to face him head on. Oh Kakarot, I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Get my run back, man! I'm getting my run back! I beat Jiren, man! Be anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. Oh, that hit? Okay. Take it. This should do something. Oh my god, he blocked that shit. Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I want to see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Piccolo! If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. Wait! Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. Why is this health region? So you've been developing a new technique too? And just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Wait, you... you what the... Power level 1307? Darn. There we go. There we go. Leave him alone! You, you little brat. Please let this work. Worthless idiots. That's not gonna be enough. Lightning surprise attack. What? Master Roshi! Now, Piccolo! End it! Special Beam Cannon! Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them that in one year's time, two even stronger Saiyans will visit Earth. Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regime under the watchful eyes of Kami. So no Kayaken! However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. He tries his best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them. Then, Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to go on in their training. He informs them that he will take over go on training. Okay, I'll leave Gohan's training to you. Goku, are you nuts? I know, 
The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we can get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Goku and the others complete their training with Kami and each of them then continue to work on their individual skills. They then gather to test the fruits of their labor. Wow, you guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. I finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to show you. We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. It will showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Oh! I mean, I kind of want to beat Yamcha's ass before the Sandman does, so... <laughs> Yamcha! You game to train with me? Totally! Better give me all you got, Goku, because I can tell if you're holding back. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Oh, beat your wolf fang sideways. Damn, that bent like crazy! <laughs> Alright, right, I'll bring it! Cakewalk! <laughs> Thought I might actually have a shot at beating you, but you're stronger than ever! Should have figured. <laughs> Goku and the others have tested their power. They return to their training in preparation for the Saiyan's attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. The Saints send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily see off them. Oh! Yamcha lives? Finally, a Saint called Nappa decides to confront him directly. Guess my training with him worked out? <laughs> Guess I'll be killing Kakarot first! Don't get cocky because you defeated Raditz! I'm twice as powerful as that rat! Okay. Show me. Like that, eh? I'm not done yet. Yeah. Here goes. Take this. Gotcha. We're settling this right here and now. Over here! 
Revenge counter to revenge counter, right? Perception? I don't know. Stupid that shit. Okay, bro. Oh, I go and finish him with a come at me off. Or a grab. <laughs> Help me! Vegeta! I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan! Vegeta kills Snap out with a batting an eye, as the latter has lost to Goku. Goku and the others sense Vegeta's overwhelming power, but they divide into two. Along with Goku, Tien and Piccolo, who both have strength left to spare, engage in combat with Vegeta. Gohan, Krillin, Yamcha and Chaozu leave the battlefield. Once Gohan and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. <laughs> right. Ah, so you're a Namekian. Namekian? Yes, Namekian people are said to have mysterious hidden abilities. Magical ones, in fact. I suck. You must have been the one who created these Dragon Balls, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay, Jira. Relax! Explosive wave. <laughs> We're settling this right here and now. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do it again. Okay. Counter me? Well, he can't punch you, come at me. Ah. Wait. Okay. I thought he did for a sec. Chakra, this low class scum! <laughs> I'm the prince of Saiyans! How can he hurt me? Even a low class scum can surpass elite war. Vegeta has been injured by Goku. Enraged, he transforms into a great ape in an attempt to defeat Goku. However, Piccolo had destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, he creates a power ball to transform into a great ape. The three of them share the remaining sensor beans between them to face Vegeta's great ape form. Does he always start with that? <laughs> Don't blink, Kakarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! 
I hate super armor so much. Am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey. That was gonna block us. This is crazy. How do I fight this thing? Did damage. It was bad enough when Gohan turned into one of these hulking things, but this is a hundred times worse. Fuck. I finally figured it out. The monster that stomped my grandpa Gohan to death and smashed up the tournament arena all those years ago. That, that was me, wasn't it? I might as well let you know. The power level of a Saiyan when they transformed into a great ape is ten times their normal strength. I have to cheese him, guys. This, uh, this super armor is so annoying to play, especially... Any more powerful. Don't give up, Goku. It might look hopeless, but we've survived this far. Krillin? <sighs> I'm blocking every shot as well. Too late for him, and now he's gonna block it. Oh, but sparking! Sparking works! Not just me, bud. Yamcha and Chaozu and Gohan. Oh, why did I do it raw? He's gonna block it. Should have sent him flying first. Oh wait, did I... what are you thinking? Why would you bring them all here now? Because it's all or nothing at this point. Plus, I've got a plan, and I need everyone to pull it off. Oh, damn. Ah! Too late! He's doing that shit. Try to finish him off with Super Kamehameha. Never mind. Ah, oh, he blocked in time. It's so annoying. <laughs> It's so gimmicky. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. No, I will. Oh, triple solar flare, god damn. Solar flare! Yeah, damn. My eyes. Here goes. Destructo disc. <laughs> He's getting jumped. Put every ounce of your energy into this next attack. Damn you! You won't get away. Oh. He's been weakened enough that Chouts' paralysis is working. Okay, this is our chance, guys. Oh shit! It. Guys, we really did it! We actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together. <laughs> yeah, we did, but I don't have much left in me after all that. <laughs> he put up a good fight, but we were more than prepared for him. Huh? The, the sand! Don't worry, Gohan. Can't hurt you now. <laughs> it's so weird seeing Yamcha alive. You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying who? <laughs> I figured you wouldn't die. Uh -huh. Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immense immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all their energy in this life of death struggle. However little it may be, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key. Drawing on that meager amount, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. 
Look a bus time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little... Mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! Oh! Peter narrowly dodges Piccolo's attack and frees himself from Goku's hold. Yeah, he didn't want to be reddit. Goku! As a result, Goku takes the full brunt of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses consciousness. When Goku comes to, he sees Go Gohan cornered by Vegeta. Son, my friends. No, get away. <laughs> with his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons a spaceship an attempt to return home. Krillin, determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't, I don't want him to die. With these final words, Goku takes his last breath. Oh, so this way he goes to Kinka. Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good! Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that, yet. As for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling other Saiyans. He arrives before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth. Concerned by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan, wishing to become as strong as possible before the Saiyan, before Saiyan attacks Earth again, ignores Chi Chi and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Go on. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a course, Earth. Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with, with the Dragon Balls. He is then back on Earth. Hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is, prepare for battle. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon! Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! <coughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! Frieza? And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power! Frieza is considered absolutely invincible! But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives! So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls! You, you gotta be kidding me! After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend! <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. Yeah. Uh. 
guys. It's okay. Could you leave this one to me? You got it. We're counting on you, Goku. What boxing? I'm not done yet. Okay, okay, bro. Explosive wave. That's your skill count, buddy! Vegeta, I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! Wait! I have the... Do I have the big spirit bomb? Share your energy with me. I think I do! That's kind of crazy. Oh, did I do the same thing again? Oh, I think I did. No! I, I wanted to do the spray bomb! No! I could have beaten him! Beaten him! Fuck! What's now? What would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, just doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you, and I think we have no other choice but to join forces. With that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to planet Nen. Vegeta and Goku train together, finding their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, Team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of that key, Tien decides to leave Chaozu behind, while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Kui, but Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Kui, Vegeta! Dodori and Zarbon! I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> and you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait... I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet, Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me! <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct! Bring it! You know that 
I think it does. I do have a spirit bomb. Wait. Okay. You can't do that, sir. Sir, you can't do that. That's illegal. Hit me. Easy. No, oh, fine. Since you can't finish the job, allow me. Share your energy with me. This will land. Your energy with me. For a spirit bomb. Why can't I move? Fuck! You won't even get the chance! Okay. Counts. Goku and Vegeta have defeated the Doria and Zarbon. As the Doria attempts to flee, Vegeta deals a finishing blow. Goku is about to reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy, enemy who had given up. All of a sudden, a new enemy arrives. The Frieza Force's elite squadron, the Ginyu Force, appear in front of them. Bunch of clowns. <laughs> the first blood is mine to draw. Okay. Remember, Goku, the orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. <laughs> the casual, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha, what a gentleman this guy is, Gudo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, this is how you do combos, Guldo! On these morons. Huh? What happened? Jira becomes annoyed witnessing Guldo and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one on one. The Guinea Force agrees with Vegeta's proposal and. Joining up with Guldo, they all come together as one to attack Goku and his friends. You maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Bet! Better! Dice! Dice! Can you? Take it away! Thank you for us. Now, men, slaughter them all. We 
with style! Yeah, I get to finish you off. Dummy here, buddy. Get ready to see my real I'm just gonna beat him to death. Just in case. How the hell did I get being by such a weakling? Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Why did I destroy it raw? Bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. All right, let's share your energy with me. Now, why did I go in front of him? Tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick. You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Guess I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raku, you owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. Share your energy with me. This is a piece of cake. Oh damn! It's a decent damage. Okay, bro. But I'm the fastest. No, you're not. Damn you, the best. I guess that makes Goku the new fastest in the universe. Being a number two fits you pretty well, though. Shut your face! Boy, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss heads? All right, I'm jumping in! Revenge counter, please. Hello, Chase of all people doing comboing me. Get out of here, Chase. Yes, I think I'll do the same. Can you sit? 
About time the strongest of the bunch joined the party. Oh, what did I do? Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. This is absurd! The Ginyu Force is unstoppable! Unstoppable, I tell you! Combining their powers, Goku and Vegeta force the Ginyu Force into retreat, seeing that their will is broken. Goku orders them to return to their planet. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard is down, only to be cut down themselves by Vegeta. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy's leader, Frieza, emerges. Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls. As Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy they faced. It is, it is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the others. Before they know what is happening, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience! Vegeta! What do you think you're doing?! Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? W what the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure, but we have to keep on fighting! Or we're toast! You didn't build that body! The Saiyan cells! You don't know how to use them! I'm gonna give him the same speech that I gave to Goku Black. You never learn how to think like that, Prince! Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body! Is that... Ginyu? Wait, your body? No, no way! Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another! Vegeta's strength is mine to wield! Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? Oh, no, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I haven't yet located anyone with a power level high enough to match your description. Naturally, because these vermin have the ability to control their power levels. Thus, the... N oh, sorry, sorry, Frieza, to interrupt you. But, but why? Even using Vegeta's body, why can't I kill you? You'll never learn how to think like that, Prince. No other choice then. I'll just take your body instead. Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempt, forcing him back into his own body. <laughs> I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta! I'll wind up with a lower power level, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Change now! Stop! 
With Ginyu temporarily stunned, Tien narrowly avoids having his body stolen. It, you froze for a second. What happened? That technique, it must be. Chaozu! Worried about his friends, Chaozu follows behind being careful not to be noticed. Chaozu uses telekinesis to change Jigenyu's body with a frogs, and the battle is won. Concerned for the wounded Goku and Vegeta, Krillin and the others hand them sense of beans to heal. Even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone, that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza is enraged at seeing his underlings beaten, he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well... Someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Now, feast your eyes. Oh, shit. What incredible energy. Power is practically doubled! You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitty. I'm not done yet. There. Shit. Ah! The first one to force my shirt off. I think. Oh shit. You're finished. Yeah. I'm not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> this is taking what? longer than I wanted. Wait, what? Frieza is in the midst of the next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Frieza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Just as a legion of troops appear from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chaozu back home. The GOAT! Our heroes give the last of their sense of beans to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza, while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own wounds. Armed with the sense of beans and the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle to Frieza one last time. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? 
Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Freeza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What the, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Idiot. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. How can a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? Where's the debris? So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power! Now get ready! The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sensu bean and be quick about it! Vegeta! But, but oh, what about Vegeta? Just Gozo? eat the damn. damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength! Forgive me, Vegeta! Oh, shut up! You're far more wounded than I am! Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy! You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life! Warrior who fights to protect people they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? You still don't understand what it means to be a saint. So now I'll set the example. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! Yeah! That fits so well. Drawback to making a strong enough spirit bomb is how long it takes to gather the energy for it. But you don't mean I'll last long against Frieza. Please, Goku, take my energy as well. Kami? Oh, I just wanted to do dirty fireworks. What's this? Is that what I think it is? I, I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Uh, how unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam cannon! Go on! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? 
And that Namekian still drawing breath. I thought they'd been taken care of. I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies. <laughs> you just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience. You meddling brats. I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet. <laughs> okay, it's finally ready. Do it! Go, go! go! Is he dead? Did this spare bomb kill him? With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with a spare bomb! Let's go! Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth, as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typically. True heroes are the only ones worthy of obtaining the Dragon Ball. However, once it is discovered that the God of Earth is a Mechian, permission to use the Dragon Balls were granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende using his mysterious powers to heal the wounded. Just as Goku and his friends are expressing their gratitude, a fully recovered Vegeta appears. This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving! Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. Side by side photo collection, 100k, let's go! Where could it have strayed? <laughs> 